Oh, I'm so happy with our Bonobo habitat. I think they look so cute in here. And they're just having a great time. I think it's a really good group size as well. Because there's six of them. And there's it's supposed to be, I think, three to ten. So I think six is a pretty good number. Um, I've just seen as well, we've got the Chinese pangolins have passed their quarantine. So we can send them into the Chinese pangolin habitat. And then we've got good numbers of pangolins back. Because Oh, not into Komodo dragon. That would be very bad. Where are our pangolins? Oh, they're a bit further back, aren't they? They're over here. These beautiful Japanese trees. There we go. If we send them to there, then uh, they can rejoin their friend in there and make them not be lonely anymore. Okay, so there is quite a lot of bustling at this keeper hut. I think it's probably a very good idea that we do some mechanic research. So I think staff facilities is probably the first one so we can get this large keeper hut. Let's put Catherine on this. Um, we also probably could do with some more drinks. So let's get some more drinks. Let's get some more food. I'm aware that it's that it's, they're going to be doing this instead of doing other things which we need them to do around the zoo. But I do think it's important. And I think for the next habitat, which isn't going to be this episode, we should get someone researching transport rides as well. Because I want to do something with the transport rides. I'm not going to say what yet. Um, I do also, that probably also means that we should get another mechanic. So let's just get another mechanic in here and then see how our staff are doing generally. Um, we haven't renamed staff in a while. It's just so many of them now. Um, and I want, I, the main thing, I just want to make sure that they all, um, they're all able to do their jobs. Africa Middle and Asia Entrance are still struggling. But I'm hoping that's to do with untrained keepers that we've just put on there. And then we've got Asia Entrance and Exhibits on the Educators. Maybe they could do with another Educator. Let's grab a couple, let's grab a couple more Educators and we can whack one in uh, Exhibits and one in on the Asia Entrance. Uh, where are you? So let's go Asia Entrance. And this one can be on Exhibits. And then our Caretakers are actually pretty happy. Um, let's put you on Zoo. Oh, it's on Mechanics. Um, and our caretakers are pretty happy as well <laughs> and our vendors are always um, kind of a mix between it depends how well trained they're up they are normally entrance guest facilities could do with another vendor it looks like that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing and it's probably because we've added in some more um, in here which which makes a lot of sense I think I'll just get one extra vendor and just add them to the work zone it looks like one of our animals has died, which is very sad. Who's passed away? Oh, we've lost another African wild dog. And Tozy. I don't think we'd named them. I think they were... They were maybe one we hadn't named. I can't remember. I don't think we had. There's just so many animals now. It's hard to make sure everyone's named. Are you related to the one in here? Uh, you are. Okay, so we're going to need a new female bird's taper to replace them. Bird's taper. Oh, we, oh, new female. There we go. Perfect. Let's send them to quarantine. And now, oh, oh, Bramble. No. Oh, it was definitely his time. Bless him. Poor Bramble. Is he? Is he dying? I mean, he looks fine. He's still eating. He doesn't look like anything's wrong with him. Look how many children Bramble has had. This is actually ridiculous. He has so many babies around him. I mean, Bramble, if you're not... I'm just going to go over here. Oh, no, we've already been here. Okay, the dog is definitely passing away. Oh, he just got boxed up. He didn't die. That was interesting. Maybe he's just going to be taken out. I don't know. Oh, look at the look at the null literally eating the scarecrow feeder. That's so cool. Or the keeper feeder. I don't know what it's called. Oh, I love these little habitats. Look at our giraffes just playing, eating, having a great time. Got some babies in here. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. I think in the next episode, we'll have a big renaming of a number of animals. Um, or perhaps later in this episode, but I do want to get a oh workshop too. I just want to get started up and and working. Ah, this is why. Okay, so there's there's a bit of queuing for this one because we haven't actually got enough workshops. So let's get another staff facility. Let's get another conservation workshop. Um, which was it? Uh, not material. Content pack. Conservation. 
Let's get another conservation workshop. We could probably do with another one around here. Um, so let's whack it about here. And then we can connect it up with a good old staff path. Um, that probably looks the best. And just add it into our work zones. So it's going to go in the zoo work zone. And I don't actually know if we've got many more. We could probably do with some just generally around the zoo. I think I might whack one in here as well. Let's put one right there. Because it just pads the areas out too. It makes them look a bit like a bit better generally. And let's add this into the zoo work zone too. And then I think we're going to need another one if we're going to do four bits of research at the same time. Or we could just hold off on one of them. But I don't I don't think it's too bad to do another one. I think I'm just going to add another one in over here. Because we have so much money now. Like, it's really not an issue. Whereas at the start, it was kind of an issue because we were a little bit broke. <laughs> and we're just trying to stay afloat. Now now we're definitely not. Now we're, we're thriving. I think... Oh, this is quite cute as well, actually. I think if we put it here, it just kind of backs onto the seating area. It looks quite cool. So I'm going to whack that there. And then we need to add this one into the work zone too. It's going into the zoo work zone, which is massive now, um, which is basically just everything. Oh, except this little water regulator over there. That wasn't in there. So that's a good thing. We went back onto the screen. And now if we play, there should be four that they could access. They just need to walk to it and find find their, their workshop. And if they're stuck queuing for it. No, they've realized, look, they're walking over. They're going to go to this one now. They're so clever, aren't they? I do think we probably, the game is getting a little stuttery now because I think we've got so many penguins again. I know we've got lots of other animals. Maybe it is time that we take some of our animals and send them into hospice care uh, for the end of their life. I'm going to send them all together because then it's kind of, you know, it's a bit cuter for like a load of them to be rehomed into the same hospice area, I'm going to say. Like all of these are getting rehomed together. It's going to cost a little bit of money, but it's not very expensive. And I think they're worth it. So I'm going to send them out of the zoo. Wow, that made everything a lot cheaper. And then we could probably do with releasing some of our penguins into the wild as well. Because we just have so many. Um, a couple of them are pregnant. Maybe we should go to the pregnant one. Everything before the pregnant one. <laughs> 12 penguins. Oh my goodness, 800 credits. Honestly, if you want conservation credits, penguins are an absolute gold mine. Um, send these as well, because I don't think all of them sent. Oh, we're sending slightly lower than what I'm clicking, but that's fine. Um, maybe it's the some of them we bought. I don't know. They don't want to be released. That's fine anyway. That's a good enough amount that we're happy with that. Um, only got a smaller number now so what's that 70 76 penguins which is still so many penguins like you'd see if you came to this you'd be amazed wouldn't you can you imagine just like seeing the penguins that closely and they're just like walking in and out of the uh the area that you're walking it'd be insane oh we've got a female a female taper let's move her in bless her and toto died oh poor thing Oh, we do need a new male lechery, actually, don't we? I think we should get a new one right now. Nile lechery. I'm gonna get a nice, a nice male. Oh, he's a very expensive male. We're definitely not getting him. That's not worth it for our purposes. We're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait for a while. <laughs> you right, sunflower? You're just chilling, chilling by the, the fence, making our guests super happy. Let's have a look at our report. Our red pandas weren't amazing, but everyone else was really good. And our education is getting a lot better. I think maybe we could do with some... Oh, don't inbreed. No, 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 no. Okay, who's who's inbreeding? Ah, oh, it's because we've got a new young buck. I'm going to release him into the wild. I think we're looking for a male here as well. I'm pretty sure we're low on both of these. Oh, look at them. The little giraffes in here. With Howard. Where is Howard? I always miss Howard. I want to come back and see him every time. Look at him. He's having a little sleep. He's so cute. Um, we, sorry, what was I doing? We need to have a veil. Yes, we don't have any veils in here. Oh, we have lots of baby males, but not adults. So let's have a look for scimitar horned oryx. Ah, we've got loads of them. This is a pretty cheap one. Oh, that's some, there's a few cheap ones, actually. 
I'm tempted just to get a cheap one because we don't need like really good genes. We're just repopulating the species. A lot of these are younger. So this is six. I mean, how old do they live? Okay, they live to be 17. So six isn't that old. I think we might just go with the one that's six. 6.7 years. Oh no, it wasn't that one, was it? I think it was this one. 6.7 years. We'll get this one. And we'll send him to our little quarantine. There we go. Now he's in there too. We can delete these notifications. And it's probably time that we buy the animal for this episode, which as you've seen from the thumbnail, is gonna be the Amur Leopard or the Amur Leopard. How do you how do you say that? I'm not sure, but I'm saying it the Amur Leopard. <laughs> oh wow, they're black as well. You can get black or the the color I was thinking, like the the spotted. Wow, okay. The black ones are very expensive though, so we're probably gonna get some standard coloring for ours, and they vary wildly in price. Okay, I mean there's nothing particularly wrong with this pair, and they're quite young. I mean, how old how old do they live? Let's have a look. I'm a leopard. They live to be 15. Okay, so 15 years old. They're not going to be breeding when they're 15, obviously, but I, I don't think six is particularly old. I mean, we can get them when they're three, but they cost so much more. And I am trying to save some credits for some bigger animals we've got coming later in the in the series. So I think maybe if we get these two, then we've got a breeding pair. And we can see as well, because I don't know how many um, they're supposed to have in the habitat. I'm assuming it's just two. Yeah, one male and one female. Okay, perfect. What kind of habitat do they need? Grade three, climb proof, and more than three meters. That means we can use wooden uh, barriers because they're resistance grade three. So that's perfect. And we, it needs to be, we're going to have two adults that say, and let's say they've got three babies or four babies then there's going to be a thousand. So we can give them a nice big habitat. We can definitely do more than that. And I think we could probably just build it into this section here. So what I might do now is just connect up our path all the way around this mountain um, so that we can kind of get our guests looping all the way around to this little this little circle here. And I think around here is where we're going to have our memorial a bit later in the in the series for all the animals that have passed away. So I think it'd be really cool if we can bring it around. We can have a few more habitats in this mountainside here and, uh, and that will kind of connect things really nicely. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, I've tried to go with like the contours of the land so that like wheelchair access is still pretty reasonable along the whole thing. It has got some like raised areas, but this is still a pretty decent gradient. Like it's not going to be crazy. And that gives us kind of a good marking for where our habitats want to be. I don't think we want to go too, too crazy because they don't need that much space. But I do think we can give them a good amount of space. I just realized we've cut off the, uh, the staff path here as well. So I'm just going to add that back in. Um, they can climb these stairs up to here. <laughs> oh, this is in need of repair. Both of them are. Let's get them out here. Let's say every month, come and replace them instead of, oh, definitely not every year. And again, same here, probably. We need to make this every three months. Let's try. Yeah, every three months. They're doing a lot better. So that should be a bit better. Let's have our barriers put in now and see where we get to. Okay, now we've got a barrier in. We need to put a door in too. And let's add this in here. That's pretty good. Now this is a, a whole habitat. It is 4,100 meters, so it's definitely big enough for the leopards. It's four times what they need, so it should be great. Um, it's also raised, so although 
the guests are only going to be seeing one side of the habitat. I'm hoping that they've got quite good like view up the habitat because it's all raised. So you should be able to kind of see the whole length of it still. And we're going to make it one way glass as well. Um, it says it's obstructed, which is I'm not sure why. OK, so I'm just making this one way glass as well, because now our guests can see in from one side of the habitat and I'm hoping because it's raised like they're still going to be able to see the leopards like for the whole length of the habitat or at least most of it. I should actually check whether the leopards are shy or not. So the leopards, they're neutral. So they probably do want a bit of privacy and they will get that with things like this hill here. They can hide behind, you know, things like that. So the terrain is going to give them that privacy, but it's still going to provide pretty good visibility for the guests. I mean, if you're stood here, you can kind of see the whole habitat. So you should be able to see them walking around. Um, that's the hope anyway. And we will continue around here with some other habitats in here just to kind of, you know, keep the area going strong. If you'll notice as well, I put the habitat door here because we're going to have a whole new staff area over here somewhere. And maybe that'll break up the habitats as well a little bit. I might put it in like here somewhere. Maybe have another habitat and then have the staff area. Something like that anyway. So it is going to be serviced from a new staff area. Um, I might just put something provisional in now and that can always change. But I'm going to leave a bit of space for maybe an, oh, maybe maybe I'll just put it in next door actually. I might put them in here. Have a little uh, area just for the staff and they can, it's not too far from the habitat and they're gonna be a, just a staff room and a keeper hut. That's probably sufficient. And that should be good enough actually. I'm just thinking whether we need anything else. We could maybe have a vet surgery because it's very far away from the vet surgery we have over there. So I think I might just add a vet surgery too. That's okay. I think because it's on an, is they're on different elevations, the path in like needs to be on different levels but i don't actually think that's too bad it's just a slight ramp to get up to the vet surgery but that's not too bad and a slight ramp to get onto the staff area generally uh, but this gives them a little bit of an area we are going to make it a lot nicer later by adding in a lot more scenery into these staff areas but i don't want to do it in this episode i think i might do it in not the next episode but the one after that that's what i'm planning anyways we're going to make all of these areas across the zoo a lot more pretty um, but I'm just going to add this into the zoo work zone and then create a new work zone for the Asia, uh, what should we call it, Asia final or Asia end. We've got Asia entrance, so we need something um, and we're going to add all of these into that. I'm going to call it, uh, where is it, new work zone 12, Asia final or Asia end. We've got Asia entrance and Asia end. So we've got Asia entrance, Asia middle, Asia end. I think that's pretty good. Um, and now we just need to add in a keeper to this work zone. And probably and an educator, I imagine. Although we haven't actually got any education points for them yet, but they will very soon. So let's grab is there a new keeper in here. No work zone. You are now on Asia end. And the same for our educators. Okay, we've just put both of those in and assigned them to their relevant staff zones. Quarantine's passed on the Oryx. So I'm going to grab them and move them to their Oryx habitat. And the giraffes as well, of course. Don't forget Howard at all. Um, and then I think we've, we've left them in the trade center. Yeah, we need to grab both of our leopards and whack them in quarantine so they can check they're not sick before we put them in the park. I wonder how our mechanic research is going. Oh, as I click it, we've got two of them done already. Star facilities and drink shops. So we can already get a bigger uh, star facilities, which is amazing. Let's go for the large staff room as well. But the other thing we're going to need is to improve our conservation theme to level three to get the level two blueprints. So we need to be doing that as well. So maybe when Maybe actually I'll take them off drink shops and we'll put uh, one of our 
mechanics onto the conservation theme and they can research this one for blueprints and then hopefully we'll have some more blueprints soon and we can improve so we can have a nice big keeper hut here maybe move this building back the conservation just look at it though like look at the lights how adorable is this that's actually one thing we're missing completely in this zoo is lights um, but it's not really open in the dark though i suppose our keepers might be here so we should have some lights for safety reasons um not necessarily for aesthetic reasons, but for safety reasons. Uh, because other than, other than these like little cute ones we've got around the uh, some of the staff areas, there's just no lighting around the whole zoo. I think we'll definitely do that, but perhaps not in this episode. Now, over in the horse habitat, we have got a couple of young adults now that we probably need to release to the wild because their parents are in this habitat. Spirit is their parent here, so we need to release this uh female horse 27 credits isn't bad and then oh that spirit right there so it's a good thing we did that <laughs> because then i think there's one more female here oh there's a couple of them oh dear hopefully you're expecting offspring oh dear that's gonna be an inbred an inbred baby that's not good but it's not the end of the world that we've got one we've got another male here that needs to be released into the wild so goodbye and then we've one final female, which is right here. I'm going to release her before she breeds with spirit again <laughs> for 31. Um, actually, if we go into the animals tab, we can have a look at our horses. Um, we have so many penguins now. Um, where are our horses? They're right down here. I think all our baby horses have grown up now, which is insane. There must have been them because we have so many baby horses at one point they must have all grown up now wow well maybe we need to have a look at some of the others that are in here but i think these are all yeah no okay so the others are all not related to spirit which is exactly what we want so the horse habitat is fine right now uh, we have got some baby komodo dragons that maybe we should name so i'm going to call this one drinking here by the water dahlia and then i think this one running away can be called tropical and I think this boy should be called Sage. Then we're going to have Aspen and his brother Nemo. Also, Howard's baby baby girl has grown up now. So I think it's probably time we release her to the wild because we don't want her breeding with Howard anymore. So we're going to release her for 238. Wow, look at us go. That's really good. Oh, we've still got all of these in here. Goodness, she's looking a bit chunkier than the others. You've been eating all the food. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe it's just the angle. Maybe it's just the angle. Um, I love the, this little habitat with Howard. Look at him. Look at him chilling out with, with Beanstalk, his his love. And then we've got Pippi Longstocking, who's elderly. He's just watching on. <laughs> um, oh, we've got our leopards. They're free to be released from quarantine. So let's move them into the habitat. Let's move them in right there. This habitat is habitat 60. We need to call that the Amma Leopard. So, so we know what it is. Then we've got lots of facilities without power. Ah, oh, yes, we've just... Oh, this one's without power. That's just because of this needing to be maintained. So that's okay. I don't really mind that. Um, I'm going to delete, dismiss all of these because I think the main problem is that we've made a new staff area over here that hasn't got power. So I'm just going to add a solar panel into this area. Um, and I think we probably need, oh no, we've got a water pump right there. So we don't need that. So let's have utilities, solar panel. And I'm not going to add it into the group. I'm just going to place it, I think, around. This is a bridge, actually. So it needs to be closer to the ground. Let's turn the heat map off so we can see what the levels are like. I think we're going to put it here because the levels of this are quite difficult to manage because we are kind of building on a on a hillside a little bit, but I think that's fine. It doesn't need to be part of this area and we just need to whack it in the zoo work zone so that our mechanics can fix it. I'm just going to click that in there. Oh, we are also missing a building here from the work zone which is a keeper hut. So I think that's fine because I'm not really sure who was using that, who would be using that in, in the zoo work zone. Oh no, Violet's passed away. Poor Violet. Oh, we've got we've got lots of Gnarlechwi in here now. Bless her. There's bound to be one to go soon. 
I'm going to remove these alerts um, because it's it's just uh, maintenance of solar panels, which isn't which isn't a big deal. Um, and hopefully our leopards will be put in here soon. But they've got quite a run because they're coming from all the way, all the way back here. Um, so I don't know where they are in the zoo now, <laughs> but I'm sure there's someone running with them. Power source is broken down. Okay, we'll press the mechanic and we can move this to every month to be maintained. I imagine it's not doing as well currently because our mechanics are all doing research <laughs> instead of fixing things. But that's only very temporary. So I'm fine for a few things to break if it means that we can get some nice, get some nice scenery, get some bigger facilities, all that good stuff. I think one thing we need to do now is to add a little water area into this habitat so our leopards have got somewhere to drink and i might even put it back here where there's kind of this already a bit of a natural um dip that we can put some water in okay i think that's probably good when we uh, add the terrain painting we can make it blend in a bit more but they only need a small water area as far as i'm concerned and i quite like just having a little a little pond for them to drink from. I don't want to take up too much land that they've got um, in this area. And look, they are in. Wow, look at them. They're amazing. Look how beautiful they are in the sun. Wow. So this is the, is it the female? This is the male. Oh wow, and the female is off. I can't even click on her. She is, she's not messing about. She's running straight into the habitat. Wow. If you've got any name suggestions for these, please do put them in the comments. I would definitely want to add these in soon. Ooh, okay. A quick break from the leopards because Zoe has just passed away. Poor thing. So I'm going to call the vet for her. Um, we've got a lot of lemurs. So again, like the lechery, it was, it's bound to happen. Um, we do need to now take a look at the terrain that these leopards have got. They need a lot of climbing, so we could def- well they don't need a lot, they need a small amount of climbing, but we can definitely put in a decent amount for them. And they need the terrain to be different, so we're going to paint some of that in now. And again, I think we'll probably build a little bit of a climbing area slash shelter for them. So they've got a, the, kind of the best of both combined. Okay, just added in some coolers and a lot of snow. So hopefully that will, um, you'll start to see the snow coming through now. As you can see them start to work. So it's gonna get colder and the snow is gonna set in as I'm talking, which is quite cool. Um, that should be good for them as far as their terrain. They've got a lot of what they need. They've got a lot of rock or snow, some, a good amount of soil and not too much short grass, but they've got some. And in fact, we could probably reduce the amount of, oh no, they need a good amount of short grass. So that's fine. They're quite happy with this at the front. Um, Zoe, I'm going to delete this alert for Zoe. You can see that the snow is starting to come in now, so that's just going to carry on. Because at the minute it's 42 degrees. I don't know what temperature they need to be at. Um, they say they're fine at the minute, so let's have a little look at them on on, uh, on the Zoopedia. Uh, it says they have minus 15 to 31 degrees, so it's still going to be too hot for them over here. So I am actually just going to add in some more coolers in the rest of their habitat to just keep it at a reasonable temperature. And again, I'm going to add them all into one group, I think, and just move them under the ground because we don't want to see them. There you go, but they are working. So the temperature should be a lot better for them now. So yeah, see the temperature, they're too hot. But, ah, oh, the snow's come in in the north. There you go. The north of the habitat's got snow, and the south is going to be a lot colder, although it's going to be a bit more uh, grassy. I might just blend the amount of grass in a little bit with some soil. Oh, Aria's died as well. Our oh, water buffalo. Oh, they were, they were with Spiffy, though. They were with a friend. That's cute. Bless. Oh, we've got a little baby here. Little... Ra ra, just chowing down, chowing down on some hay. Oh my goodness. The first thing you do, the first thing you're supposed to do <laughs> is make sure the animals can't escape. And what have I done? I've let them climb straight over the wall. Okay, well, this can be resolved. 
by before we do anything else, just adding climb proof. Uh, this climb proof. What did you call it? Climb proof barriers. Climb proof resistance to let's say the right hand side. Is that on the inside or the outside? I think that's on the outside. So let's put it on the left. Yes. And then I think this wall needs to change to be the other way because this is now facing the wrong way. Okay, there is now climb proofing on all of the barriers and we just need to emergency capture this, this leopard. Oh, they've already been. Okay, let's just move them to there. Is that gonna work? They are on top of the fence. I'm not quite sure how they're gonna be picked up, but uh, let's let's see what happens. <laughs> I mean, other than that, they need hard shelter, they need climbing, they do need enrichment. So let's add in a little bit of enrichment for them. Let's go into habitat, enrichment, and type in Amur. Um, we've got a block of frozen fish. I'm gonna whack that in down the front, about there. Also got a blood pumpkin. I'm gonna put that down here. Uh, then we've got rubbing pad. I'm gonna add one of these in around here. And then we can also have a scratching tree. I'm trying to think what kind of plants these guys will want. So they're gonna want tiger Asian plants. So we're talking Himalayan pine, Scots pine. Okay, are there any of those here? Scots pine. I'm not sure, what, there won't be tamarind because that's tropical. So the Scots pine we could put in though, the scratching tree. If we add a couple of these in. I'm just going to rotate it round a bit so it doesn't look exactly the same. It does It does level out the terrain though, which is quite annoying. That's the only problem with these. So if we add it down, let's have it down here. It doesn't look quite so bad. Um, this is all on a slope, so it's going to make it look a bit weird. Unless, if we just do a little bit of smoothing, that's not quite so bad around here. Oh, and we want it to smooth with snow. And that looks fine. I might just rotate it around. So it doesn't look the same. I think that's pretty good. Oh, that is quite the catch. Look, what, what are you? Some kind of Jedi. How did you, how did you even do that, Emma Brock? You've got some more skills than I do. Right, I'm going to shrink this one into the ground as well because it's showing a little bit, the cooler. And then exit the group. We shouldn't be able to see them. Okay, they're happy now. They they can't escape, I don't think. Ah, oh, we've lost one of our giant otters. Oh, that's sad. Is that the male or is that one of the females? Let's just check up on them. Ah, oh, no, we've got Raphael. Are you related to anyone? No. Okay, good. Okay, that's our male. That's our male. And then we've got three females. Okay, so they're all good. They're all happy. It was just an older otter, but you know... Time comes for all of us, unfortunately, and it was just her time. Now, let's finish off putting this enrichment in for these guys. So let's have a little sprinkler around. Let's turn the heat map off. Let's have a sprinkler in by the water. Um, I don't want it to level. It hasn't leveled the ground. That's really good. And then I think we could maybe put a cardboard box in up the back. But other than that, I think we're going to put in some climbing and I'm going to combine this with the shelters so we do them at the same time. So I want to do that now.
Okay, so we put that in there. That's quite a lot of climbing. Um, I do just want to check that they can access it all. Oh, and that they can't escape. I think it looks like they can escape in some areas. So we need to probably just raise this wall up a little so that they can't. Let's check if that fixes things. Okay, so we've just played around with the barriers there to make sure that they can't escape. And they definitely can't escape. And they've got a lot more climbing area now. So yeah, they've got 284 meters squared of climbing. Look, and they love jumping on it. Um, so we need to probably put in some some uh, some belt uh, belting bedding into their shelter so that they can actually sleep on it. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we've just added some bedding in there. I think that looks a lot better now. Um, the leper's just been boxed up because it was on the bedding, I think, when we added it in. Um, and we've got a little, like, a little area down here that's a bit sheltered, but it's not for sleeping. This is their whole area up here. Um, they've got a lot of it. They've got some, some that's sleeping, some that's not. They're quite happy with the coverage now. The only thing that they're missing now is probably some uh, nature, which is kind of the final thing you add in. They're using the scratching tree. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. They're, they're like, they're so beautiful, aren't they? Well, I think it's probably time that we make their habitat look a bit nicer. Look at them jumping up there. They are walking on it. They're a little bit funny. They're finding it a little bit difficult to walk there, but I think they're going to manage it. There you go. They figured it out. Um, we're going to add in some nature now, I think, which will just make the whole habitat look a lot nicer and make it um, kind of... Oh, there's an... Oh, wait, we've got two animals. Oh, no, Harry. Harry, the red panda's died. Oh, bless him. Oh, I think we've got... Oh, we've got a few red pandas in here. So that's that's not ideal. Um, let's see who should be here. I, I, I'm assuming that your parent is the mum, yeah, and that's your sibling. So really, this little one needs to be released into the wild as well. And then, is this the young adult? Yeah, so you're going to be the daughter as well. So you need to be released. And then we need to uh, get another red panda. Red panda. Another female. Another male, sorry. This one's a pretty decent one for the cost. He's only four. Oh, they're 1.5. Wow, they're very young. Okay, I think we're going to go for the four-year-old one here. Um, we we'll adopt him and we can send him to the quarantine building right at the start of the zoo. And then they should be able to sort out... Um, they'll check if he's ill or anything and, and sort him out if he is ill. Um, we've got power source there. I think it said that there's a guest that a guest facility was negatively impacting guests. I don't know where that would be. Um, oh, it's here. Ah, they're too close. Okay, that's fine. We can move these back and they'll still um, still be in the right place. Let's move it to here and then move the solar panel back with it. Oh, the solar panel. I think it's still close enough that all of these work. Yeah, they do. Okay, that's fine. We just need to make sure that it's linked up with a path. There we go. That should get rid of the negative impact. Yes, none of them are impacting the path anymore. And I think that's true around the whole zoo. We've tried to keep the uh, facilities away from guests. So I think we've done a pretty good job with that so they don't impact them negatively. Yes, there they have. They have. That's what we want. That's perfect. I don't think the solar panels matter. They don't really mind about them. It's more just like the water temperature. Apparently, they don't look like, like looking at them. Um, I guess when it's broken, I understand that. But I don't really understand the problem with it. <laughs> if I'm honest, um, it's just something you use at a zoo. Like, what's the issue? But guests don't like it. So they're a bit picky and we have to cater to that. Now, if we have the Asia tiger plants it'll kind of tie in with the Siberian tiger habitat next door so I think that's probably what I want to go for and again with these um, around here which is quite cute and I quite like it when the, the trees of like a few habitats all kind of tie in with one another so I'm going to add in some rocks and plants now and hopefully this habitat will look a lot nicer after.
Okay, I think that's probably good for them. They've got 54% coverage, which is definitely a lot of, a lot for them, and they're definitely happy with it, so it's good enough. They like all of these. Um, they like all of these plants, and I think it just really spices up the habitat for them. Look at them playing. Look at them. God, oh, they're using it as a scratching post, but that's adorable. I didn't think they'd use it like that. They're really, really beautiful animals. I uh, I didn't realize quite how pretty they'd be. They've got really nice coats, haven't they? Look at them. Aww. And yeah, they're just chilling out. We're gonna need names for them though, as I said. So do suggest some names. Also, I would never, I'd never be this keeper right here. <laughs> just casually, just walking past them, like ah, oh, da 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 da. Like that's definitely not safe. Definitely not a safe way to uh, feed the leopards or to clean their enclosure. But it's what we're doing here, apparently. So <laughs> we've also had quarantine pass for our red panda. So we're gonna move them into the red panda habitat which is just here. So we can reunite another breeding couple, hopefully, or create a new breeding couple, I should say. And I think our breeding zoo is doing quite well. Let's have another quick look at our tigers in here because we just had babies in here and they are the cutest, cutest little things. They're so pretty. I can't wait for them to, to get like the white jeans from their dad. Oh, look at them. They're just the most precious things. Oh, they're adorable. Now we also need some education um, through some education boards, some talks and some donation bins and, and benches. So I'm just gonna add in all of the kind of outside features to this habitat now. Okay, so we've just added in some donation boxes, some benches, and some bins. We also should probably pull some of these across. These are um, shelter areas. We probably could have one in here, for the guests here. And finally, we need to add in an animal talk point to here and assign that to the ammo leopard and then put it in a work zone so that our educators can actually use it. So I'm going to put it in zoo and in Africa end or Africa final, not Africa, Asia end. That's what we called it, wasn't it? Um, Asia end. There we go. And let's add it in here so that they know that that includes this here. Perfect. Well, I think that's it for this episode. If you've liked the episode, please do give it a like. It really helps the channel out and I'll see you in the next one.